Work on update 9.16 is well underway. In the new update, the visibility mechanics will be improved, a new map will be added, and the first Swedish tank will be introduced. Also, a special event dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the first tank battle will take place. The unique game event, Convoy, will become one of the main features of this fall. It's dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the first combat use of the Mark I tank. Battles will take place on a special map. Players divide into two teams and drive the Lanchester armored cars. One team has the legendary Mark I tank. Its task is to reach the enemy base and capture it. The allied team acts as an escort and helps the Mark. The enemy team's goal is to stop it from achieving this. The Mark I has several route options that are known beforehand. It can't receive direct damage, but it can destroy any armored car. Special bonuses will appear on the map for interaction with the Mark. The defending team needs to deliver mines to the Mark to break its running gear and cause damage. The attacking team will be able to use a special repair kit to fix the Mark's running gear and help it continue the assault. It's important to remember that several successfully placed mines can destroy the Mark. Also, there are bonuses that increase the firepower of the player's armored car. Machine Gun allows them to deliver fire at the enemy with a short reload time. Large Caliber destroys an enemy armored car when it's hit. The ammunition of these bonuses is limited. Players can join the battle either alone or as a platoon of two or three people. The visibility mechanics will be improved in Update 9.16. Now the vehicle draw will work faster the moment something is spotted. Previously, when a light tank rolled out from behind cover at full speed, there was a small delay in its draw. Now the vehicle will be seen immediately. This will help players react to the situation faster and not lose precious seconds in battle. This improvement is already implemented on the common test server, but it's important for us to hear your feedback. Please leave your comments on the game forum or the official community pages on social networks. A new map, Paris, will appear in the game. Players may have already seen it in the Rampage mode. Now the map has been refined specifically for random battles. It's a city map that is intentionally divided into three directions of attack. A city area for the well-armored vehicles, an open area for fast vehicles, and a central square for positional combat. Some unique landmarks of the French capital can be found on this map, such as the Eiffel Tower, Seine River Bank, and Théâtre National de Chaillot. In addition to the new map, the mini-maps were also improved. Starting from update 9.15.1, they are being reworked in a new style. We gathered statistics and your feedback and added 26 more minimaps in update 9.16. Also, we further improved the four minimaps we added in update 9.15.1. Keep sending us your feedback, and with your help, we will keep making the minimaps even better. An important event for World of Tanks will be the introduction of the Swedish vehicles. We've already announced the new vehicle branch for future updates, and we're happy to introduce the first Swedish tank in 9.16, the STRV M4257 Alt A2. This is a Tier 6 premium medium tank. It's equipped with the well-known turret of the French AMX-13 light tank series and a gun with a drum autoloader. You can start training your Swedish crew now and earn additional credits. The game interface was also improved. Now players can compare vehicles right in their garages. Vehicles can be compared by various characteristics. Players will also be able to see how the crew members and modules affect the different technical characteristics. One of the popular mods, Tank Carousel, will also appear in the garage. This feature will be especially useful to the players who have many vehicles. There are three carousel options to choose from. Standard, two-row, and two-row minimalistic. The battle interface was also changed. Additional information such as the damage panel will be shown, and enemy fire directly direction indicator will be reworked. The chat between teams will be switched off. We decided to do this because the chat often becomes too heated. 
or is used to reveal the positions of allied vehicles to the enemy. Now players won't be able to send messages to the enemy team. Important improvements were made to the game's sound. Among the most significant is the expansion of the gun caliber sound range. Now, not three, but five different calibers will be heard in tiers 8, 9, and 10. The system for the damage received sound indication was reworked. Now it's even easier to identify the amount of damage your vehicle has received. The sound settings interface was made more convenient. A new infinite and non-repeating music track for the premium garage was created. Now you can choose between two sound options for the Sixth Sense perk, and you can even use your own MP3 sound files for the Sixth Sense sound. The option of lowering the sound quality was reworked. It has become available to all players. Now the low quality sound sounds better at the same performance parameters. That's all for now. Good luck on the battlefield.